I am learning JavaScript, the most in demand programming language, which is also one of the highest paying programming languages out there. It was invented by Brendan Ake in 1995 with the goal of bringing web pages to life to make them more interactive and dynamic. But over the years, JavaScript has earned a reputation for turning the walnut brains of homo sapiens into peanut brains. And if you are still confused about how or why JavaScript can be a living nightmare for a programmer, let me introduce you to NAN, which stands for not a number, which actually means NAN is a number that isn't a number but still considered a number. For example, when you divide zero by itself, in mathematics, it's undefined. But in JavaScript, it's NAN. So that sparks a question. What's the type of NAN? Number, right? NAN is a number. So that means NAN is equal to itself. Mm, no, NAN is not equal to itself. Why? How? I don't know. Ask the JavaScript interpreter. I don't know what I'm doing! And speaking of confusion, let me ask you a not so confusing question. Is a number equal to a string? You would probably say, what a stupid question. Of course not. A number and a string are completely different data types. So they're not equal. But it's JavaScript. So a number and a string are indeed equal. But when when you use a triple equal sign, suddenly a cosmic ray hits your computer causing a bit flip and your computer realizes that a number and a string are not equal thanks to equality. And by the way, choosing between double equals or triple equal can be similar to picking between red pill or blue pill and choosing the wrong pill might lead to serious frustration. And speaking of frustration, how can we not talk about the most frustrating thing in JavaScript and that is this. Now what is this? Some people say it's a keyword, some say it's a variable. But the legend says it's a placeholder. So let's see. I use this inside this function as a placeholder to access this property of this object. And it works. But when I put the same function in a callback, it's undefined. I mean, what the hell is this? And if you think this is weird, then hold on. We are just getting started with objects. If you come from a background in C++, Java or Python, you might know that objects are instances of classes. But in JavaScript, it's a bit different. Every damn thing is an object. Variables, functions, numbers, strings, arrays, mycat, and even errors are object in JavaScript. And not just that. Null which is supposed to represent nothing, right? But in JavaScript, null is also an object. An object that represents nothing. Now, let's talk about the last and possibly the most overwhelming aspect of JavaScript. The sheer number of packages. Last time I checked, it was around 2 million. Seriously, do we really need that many packages? So to test, I installed a highly useful package that capitalized the second last letter of a word. But as soon as I installed it, Thank you, Note Modules. But jokes apart, with all of these millions of packages out there, you can pretty much solve any problem. You just need to find the right package out of those millions.